I love a combination of things when I'm helping kids write. Um, I love to give them mentors to immerse themselves in and to map out and to break down, like how is this author constructing this piece? In what ways can I construct my piece like that, right? What moves are they using? Um, I love prompts because I think they're, they help me, they help kids think new stuff. Mm-hmm. And to me, that's the thrill of writing, right? Is when I'm sitting down to a piece of paper and I don't know what I think or what I'm doing. And then at the end, I'm like, oh, that was cool what I came up with. I often will then get into, well, you're telling us not to do five paragraph essays, but then you're telling us to use sentence templates. Yeah. Yep. How do you square that circle? What is it that you say to teachers when you're like, well, you don't want me to be formulaic, but now you're telling me to use these sentence templates. What? How, how do you approach that? I think it's about choice. Do you know, like there's a difference between me saying, you will use these sentence starters in this order to make a paragraph, right? Or you will use this template for your essay in order to do the job and it will be part of the rubric that you follow this template I gave you. Versus, hey, here's a bunch of sentence starters that might help you do cool stuff. <laughs> What do you think you want to use to do that? Or let's look at a bunch of mentors that fit different sort of typical templates, right? That authors write when they write essays or journeys of thought. And you choose which one of those is going to be the best one that you can then adapt, right? So like, if I think about the sweet spot between sort of template sentence starter thinking and freedom, it's that I have choice and I can adapt it. Writing Matters with Dr. Troy Hicks is a writable podcast. Discover more episodes and subscribe on your favorite streaming platforms or check out filmed episodes on YouTube. And if you want to learn how to grow great writers, check out writable.com.